Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabans. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Bro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things uh, and how we see them. And today, we got a hell of a show for you guys. I'm sure we're going to piss off a lot of people, and I don't give a damn. <laughs> but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want today's full show before it comes out on YouTube, it's streaming for free in the Dreamers Pro Podcast. Make sure you guys check that out. Anyway, let's go ahead and piss off some more people today. Why, why not? So... As you guys know, there have been a lot of questions circulating around the internet and amongst NBA fans asking a simple question. Why do some of these people say some of the stuff that they say? Why do some of these people... You know, it's funny. We put up a post on our community board on our channel. Just... uh, When did I put up this post? Yeah, I put up this post 16 hours ago and I wrote the following. I said... You can easily tell the people who say what they really think versus those who want to say what they think but are paid to say otherwise. They always struggle to make sense. Laugh in emoji, right? Now, some people got what I said. Other people didn't get what I said. Other people got offended at what I said. But the, the simple point I'm trying to make is this, that <clears throat> there have been so many sports takes over the last few years that have been so outlandish that it makes one ask themselves the the, the pertinent question, what in the Lord's name would cause someone to say something like this? I'll give you guys some example. Nick Wright. Nick Wright in 2015 or was it 16 or whatever, 17, I believe, makes his debut on on, uh, what is Undisputed when Shannon Sharp was there. He comes on there with Chris Carter. They're talking about LeBron and Jordan, of course. And Nick Wright then goes out there and says, LeBron James already passed Michael. He would need a time machine to go back and pass in the past to pass Michael Jordan because when he passed him in 2016. And the entire set was like, uh, what? To this day, that is the most viewed video of Nick Wright on the internet. It has about four plus million views. Nick Wright trolled his way into sports media by saying that. Shannon Sharp is another one. Shannon Sharp can give great takes up until the point he starts talking about Michael Jordan. Shannon Sharp was start saying Michael LeBron the GOAT. And, and a lot of us were sitting there talking about, like, yo, bro, what are you talking about? 2011, you were saying Michael Jordan is next to Jesus and Guy and Kobe and all of them. Now, all of a sudden, Kobe number nine and all of them. Like, and the question a lot of us were asking was, how did Le- Michael, Kobe drop so far down all of this stuff? But meanwhile, uh, these guys are retired. What had happened? What, what's the new information that came out? A lot of people started questioning that. You got Kendrick Perkins coming out there saying some, 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 some ridiculous. And so many people like this. And it's causing a lot of us to say, are these guys being influenced to say certain things? Now, whenever I say something like this, oh, you don't know nobody. You in the outside looking in. You don't know nobody. So what happened? Yesterday, they were having a heated discussion on Gil's Arena. Uh, and Rashard McCant was actually responding to the comments that Stephen A. Smith made. And during his monologue, he said something quite interesting about people or suggesting that LeBron and his camp pay certain people in media to go out there and say that he's better than Jordan. But before we even get into his comments, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Aura. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is today? It's identity theft. Imagine trying to log into your email only to see that your password has been changed. Then you start getting weird notifications from your bank and credit cards only to find out that all of your personal and sensitive information has been totally compromised. If you think it can happen to you and your family, just know that in 2020, over 49 million Americans were victims to identity theft, costing them a combined $56 billion. That is why we are excited to partner with Aura, who is the sponsor of this video. Aura is the number one identity theft and financial fraud protection. Aura monitors the dark web and alerts you if any of your passwords and accounts have been breached. And funny enough, after using Aura, I discovered some of my credentials were floating around in the dark web, and the app showed me exactly when and where the breach happened. In addition, Aura allows you to set spending alerts and they'll notify you of any suspicious transactions. Aura is four times faster than any of its competitors in alerting you if someone is trying to open a credit card or obtain a loan using your name. And remember this, every 14 seconds, someone becomes a victim of identity fraud. Don't let it happen to you. Now click the link in the description and try Aura for free for two weeks and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. Start your free trial at Aura.com slash Dreamers Pro. And when you try Aura, by using the link in the description below. Also know that you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is want to quickly play what Rashard McCann had to say about this thing, and then we're going to come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to what he had to say here. Let's start the criteria here. Mike, 
Kobe will now be out of the conversation. We'll start it with LeBron. We don't, even go, we don't even need to mention these two no more. They are that good when it comes to the blueprint of the game. Without stats and all that other shit, they out. Now, let's start with stats. You start with LeBron, everybody else can fall in line. LeBron is the GOAT. But that's because we're not mentioning these other two niggas no more. They're not even in the conversation. Player 99, player 98. Cool. Now y'all can have y'all, you know, whoever he paying to say he the best, whoever, whatever the case may be. You cool. like him, you like him. He the most biggest IQ guy. All that is cool. I, you won't hear nothing else come from me. Because I'm taking these two guys out of the conversation. Ain't, they ain't in it no more. For me. I don't know about anybody else. Because there's a long list of NBA players that say what I say and agree and feel the way I agree. Because we played. We watched it. But the question is this. When does reality kick in when we're having debates, right? Um, before Michael Jordan, there was someone on top, right? Whoever that was, they got pushed the f out. Um, if Kobe's number two, before he was number two, who was number two, right? Mm -hmm. They had to get put in. He had to move somebody out. So it ain't, it ain't shitting on anyone's name because you don't mention them anymore or they move like, like Kobe was the next Jordan, right? He was the next Jordan. He was compared. There was times where he said, I'm 1A, he's 1B, right? Um, the reason he's not in the GOAT debate anymore is because they have LeBron as the definite two, right? So there's no, if, if they move Kobe to three in the debate, there's no point of even having that, that conversation because he can't collect stats anymore. So his stats ain't collectible anymore. So whatever his stats are, whatever his resume is, it stopped. Wow. So if someone caught him, that's who gets put into the, the GOAT bait, just like when Kobe, whoever, whoever was in front of Kobe and he, he caught him, they don't talk about three. So Michael would have been pushed out there. Correct? If someone caught him. No, no, no. Because Kobe caught him and passed him. So he would have been I mean, pushed what, out. What year did anybody say Kobe was number one? I am not, I'm not saying. I'm saying by your mention, what you just said. I just said that. You said when Michael came in, he had to push somebody out. Mm -hmm. Then here come Kobe. So who would get pushed out if Kobe comes in? Num Michael. Number two. That means... Who was no, no. Who was number two? I, no, no, I'm not saying number two. If Kobe comes in as number two... How did he, and then come in, he came in the league as number two? No, man, I'm just saying in so, the conversation. Okay, but what I'm saying is, think about what I'm saying. If Michael Jordan is in the 90s, number one, who's number two in the 90s of all time? It doesn't matter. It does. I'm saying what you just said. I'm, it does. So listen to what I'm saying. Who's number, if this is Jordan, who's number two? Because Kobe ain't in the league yet when Jordan's number one. So who's number two? That means whatever Kobe who's did. Who's number two? Okay, so if you don't Kareem, even know, so if you don't Kareem, even know who number two Wilt, is. whatever, Magic, whatever. They all got pushed out, right? They got pushed out by Kobe. No, they got pushed out by Mike. No, Kobe, Mike was already, he was number Who one. Who was number one before Mike? They didn't have one. They didn't have a GOAT. They didn't have a GOAT yet. GOAT, the first GOAT so in the So Will Chamberlain goat. wasn't. They did not, they didn't have. Bill Russell wasn't. They didn't have no GOAT. Nobody. Kareem wasn't, because Kareem led the league in all-time points. They didn't have a GOAT. They didn't why have you, a GOAT. Why you think Kareem But was that ain't what Isaiah Thomas said. So what you're saying don't have no merit, because Isaiah Thomas said, Captain, when he walked in the room, we bow. Who? Isaiah Thomas said it. That's one person. It don't matter about one person. He said, we all came down. That's Cap. That's Cap when he came in. That's Big Cap. So when Big Cap stopped, it come in, Magic and Bird. They didn't get the same kind of bravado, but then Mike comes in. Mike gets the bravado. Okay. Here comes Kobe. Now, so you just said, you just so, said so that... if Jordan's in front, Cap is second. But you said right? the collectible stats, because LeBron is still collecting stats, Mike's not collecting stats no more. So how is it that you say, okay, because Kobe's not collecting stats no more, we can push him out because here's LeBron, but Mike ain't been collecting stats since... 2002. And who passed him? And Kobe Bryant passed him. When? When? What do you mean when? When he passed it, Michael Jordan in the scoring list. Do you follow oh, basketball? Yeah, so the scoring Okay. So what are you talking score, about? He the, passed him. In the scoring list. That didn't put him in front of Michael Jordan of all time. Oh my gosh. So how does it Michael Jordan So how him? does how does LeBron James get in front of Kobe Bryant all the time? Because his metrics said he was a better player so far. Excuse me? You're talking stats? How you just said we're not How talking stats. So you heard what Rashard McCann had to say.
what are my thoughts? My thoughts are simply this. <clears throat> I think that there are people in media that are being influenced to say certain things. Um, however, we don't have any concrete proof. That's it. Now, <clears throat> do I need 100 percent proof uh, to 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 um, to know this? Uh, no. It, 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 you can you can tell because these guys always these guys always have difficulties making sense. I think that what happens is these guys defend these narratives so much to the point where it becomes obvious that they're being influenced. I remember there was an episode on Undisputed when, uh, oh Lord, what's her name? I think Joy Taylor and Steven Jackson were there and they were like, they heard that Shannon gets paid to say LeBron is a GOAT. And Skip was like, wait, what? Really? Skip was, Skip didn't know. And it was like, and then she, and Steven Jackson was like, yeah, I heard that too. That's what they said. Go pull up the video anywhere where they said Dreamers Pro got paid to say anything about anybody in terms of saying my, I always felt the way I felt. It happens. You know, it happens. Uh, people are desperate. You know, people are, there are people out there that are truly, truly desperate. Uh, and they're going to go to any length to convince you guys. <clears throat> I think the sad part is some of these fans believing that what these guys are saying, they actually believe. That's the sad part. If you want to get, <clears throat> if you want to get, the 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 rawest realist opinions in my personal view i think the only place that these views are housed is in independent media and i'm not talking about independent media by these guys that are former nba players i'm not talking about them i'm talking about independent creators that have no skin in the game they have no connect these guys are going to say what they think because they don't have anybody to protect they don't know these people so they can just speak freely if you really want to know what people think go to independent media I'm not talking about these established guys from I'm talking about independent. They'll tell you because they don't have anything connected to these people. Those are the only uh, uh, constituency left out there saying the truth. And that's why they're so important. This is why they're so important. These are the only guys telling you the truth. Most of these guys are not. They're not going to. It's a game. They're all playing it at your expense. You're boo-boo the fool. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Peace.